Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss limits and what they are. Well, let's say we have a sequence of numbers like this. Let's say 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, and so on. You could see that if you keep going, you, let's say 1 over 100, and then you keep going, 1 over a million million it's getting closer to zero so this it keeps going on this it's closing into zero all the way to let's say 1 over infinity and this is basically again it's reaching zero if we were to graph this we get let's say graph here this is um, it's called this n and this could be n equals 1, n equals 2, this is 3, 4, 5, etc. And this could be 1 over n, which is that's what this is basically is. This is 1 over n. So 1 over 1 is 1, 1 over 2 is 1 over 2, and see the n becomes 3, 4, 5, 6. So at, at 1, you just have 1. At this is... 1 over 2, this is 2. At 2, you have 1 over 2. At 3, we get this is 1 over 3, and so on. So it keeps going down. As you can see, it keeps going to infinity. It's, let's say, up all the way here to, let's say, it's going to infinity. And it's, as you can see, it's slowly getting to 0. This is 0. So closing it on zero and then this is the notation we would use we would go limit say as n approaches infinity of 1 over n that's the equation we're using it's going to be zero so that's the limit of this kind of sequence of numbers of 1 over n but in general let's say if we have just a random equation a random graph like this this is x this is y this is y of x, same thing. And so you have a random graph. So let's say a. Here's a. So the limit is basically as x approaches a from either side. Let's say from this side, I'm approaching a. What is y? So that's basically this is approaching x. Well, let's just cross this out. And then let's write this again. This is approaching a from either side so if it equals that same number then your limit exists for example yeah so it's approaching this and this is a this is all the way here this is y of a this is just the scale like that so if it approaches from either side and it's equal to a then it's gonna be yeah, gonna have a limit so limit exists limit exists when you have a say limit x approaches a this is general when it approaches a of y of x equals y of a for let's let's we'll we'll note plus yeah for let's say plus I'll just uh, just erase that. Okay, so let me just write this better. So limit exists when limit of y. Write this a bit better. When uh, limit exists when x approaches a of y of x equals y of a from the left and right sides. I'll demonstrate as an example. So from the right, left and right sides, meaning uh, we'll donate this. Com if you're moving in from this way, we'll call this a plus. And if it's moving from this way, this is a negative. This is from the lower side to the higher side. 
So a way, let's say if this is another example. Let's say you have a graph like this. Your graph is, you have something like this. The circle, if you fill it in, this means that's the value. Let's say this is at A. So value exists at A. And then let's say you have a graph like that. This doesn't exist. It's not defined. Let's say this is just an arbitrary graph that's broken up. This is, let's say, this is f of a plus. And this is f of a minus. So as you can see, the limit limit of x, this is x, or this is either y of x equals f of x. Let me just erase this. Equals f of x. So limit as x approaches a plus that's from this side this is plus of f of x equals f of a plus and limit x of a minus f of x equals f of a minus but from the graph from the graph f of a minus does not equal f of a plus thus limit does not exist not exist so that's basically this is just from a graphical point uh, I'll show you more videos of different equations and how you can apply limits to see if they exist and this is very useful in, in general in math. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this and learned what limits are. This is a notation that I will be using, this limit of y of x approaches a of y of x. And um, that's the one I'll be using in further videos and I have used it earlier. So I uh, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, tune in next time for another math easy solution.